How's it going? Hanging in there, man. Can't believe it is Once the bar is perfectly in position, your chest is correct. In terms of your physical rehabilitation, talk a little bit about what that entailed. Um, lifting and too much uh, overhead reaching. Yeah. You know, you, uh, sometimes yeah. you're kind of reminded like uh, that. Sometimes excessive bending where mm -hmm. involves, mm -hmm. you know, extension of the upper body. Mm -hmm. So caring for yourself. I mean, let's go through the basics. Caring for yourself, dressing yourself, basic hygiene, that was never a problem for you. Um, you know what, I'd say for the few, first few days, you know, getting used to not just being able to throw a shirt on, but yeah. taking your time. Yeah, that's a good point. And How I, about washing your hair where you, you know, you need to right. lift your arms? It was challenging, I think, probably for the first couple of days, just mm -hmm. getting used to that, not being able to just go up there and you realize that things just aren't as aren't as swift yeah. at that yeah. stage. You just you just can't possibly do it. Getting in and out of bed, I think sometimes people find that to be a little challenging. I slept on the couch for probably a week and a half after. So the couch the was easier than the bed? Much. Oh. Why so? Were you able to prop yourself up on pillows a little bit better? Or and what made it easier? It was the I think the narrowness of the couch and just being able to surround yourself with pillows. I think mm -hmm. to have some level of comfort around you, not only is good physically, but I think it works tricks on the mind too mm -hmm. because you feel just a little more comfortable sure. in that situation. And, I would even use a technique um, for the first couple of days of rocking myself mm -hmm. until I get up, you know, before I was, you know, able to just really sure. pull myself up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that, so that sit-up position, that right. crunch position is sometimes mm -hmm. a very challenging right. thing to do. And I've, I've told patients that often it's better than, rather than do a full crunch, to literally get on your side a bit and to push up into a seated position. Yeah. Use your use your 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 elbow and your and your hand to push you up into a seated position, and then from a seated position into a standing yeah, position, yeah. rather than that straight crunch up to a seated position right. and then quickly standing. Right. So uh, so yeah, I think those are so those are some really wonderful ideas. Often patients have told me their their best sleep came in a recliner, yeah, as opposed to a to actually in in a traditional bed. Right. So I, I think a couch and a recliner can sometimes be uh, better options than an actual bed. Tell me a little bit about how the deep breathing, because you know that's a cornerstone of our early rehabilitation program. We use incentive spirometer and incentive spirometry to right. you know give you some biofeedback in terms of the depth of your breathing and, mm -hmm. and to encourage you to use that. Was that something that you continued when you were home? And, yes. And, and did, was, that, was that helpful? Very helpful, yeah. And I, I got just really in that rhythm of doing it, you uh -huh. know, like That's it excellent. was designed to do. Right. Um, and I, you know, and I enjoyed it. And it can, you know, whenever I had an issue with, with, with nausea, um, it was good for me to go to that spirometer, mm -hmm. help me keep my mind off of it, and it was something productive as well. Yeah, exactly so, right. Yeah, you felt like you were taking control of, exactly. your, uh, of your own health and well-being. How was your appetite? How was, how was your relationship with, with nutrition afterwards? Because you know, I try to stress with patients how important good nutrition is right. in the healing process, and yet I'm prescribing medications that often will blunt one's appetite. Mm -hmm. um, how, how did nutrition play a role in your recovery? And, well, there's a little bit of a tug of war there. In the hospital, I had, I had, I had, I had issues with that. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was, you know, up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. Discharge, when you go back, um, and on oral medications, for whatever reason, helped me get my appetite back. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Of course, then you know the withdrawals. That you know that was a totally different thing. That's mm -hmm. you know the other direction. Down. Well, that's that's another downside to withdrawal, right? Mm -hmm. You become apathetic. You, you know, you become. Uh, you know, physically yeah. affected by the withdrawal so that it reduces your appetite, it can create right. nausea all over again. Mm -hmm. And then those physically uncomfortable feelings are surely a deterrent to, you know, uh, eating mm -hmm. well and maintaining your nutrition. So that's yeah. another reason to avoid Absolutely. withdrawal 
is it will affect your, your, your state of nutrition. Your chest wall is healed very nicely. Thank you so much. So happy to be dancing.